So starting with the next 15 questions for the GS paper 1. Now the first question talked about anti-defection law. A similar question was asked in the last years as well. So anti-defection is a very important topic. Now here uh, what we need to understand is this law does not provide any time frame within which the presiding officer has to decide the case of defection. So that is the correct statement. However, the nominated legislator, legislator can join within six months. So first is incorrect. Two only is the right option here. The next question is about attorney general. Now this question specifically focuses on attorney general as you can see from the second statement as well. The idea is under constitution of India, if the uh, the uh, the council of minister dissolves, then uh, attorney general would have to submit the resignation as the government resigns, right? So two is correct. However, Attorney General of India is allowed to participate though the fact that Attorney General is a member of neither of the houses but the same does not apply for Solicitor General and therefore one is incorrect. So Attorney General is allowed to participate in all meetings of the Parliament. Uh, Solicitor General is not under the uh, Article 76 of the Constitution and has is under a statutory provision, right? But is considered as a uh, as a second attorney general or second to the attorney general right so one is incorrect two is correct b only is the right option here the next question is which of the following grids are issued by the court in india now this is a very direct question we have covered this in our class on mandamus and uh, cure warrant so cure warrant could be uh, issued against any person uh, as a petition to ask why they have been uh, reasoning you so three is correct and mandamus would not lie against a private organization unless it is interested with the public duty so one and three are the correct options two is not the correct option so one and three is the right option now refer the class that we have already covered on mandamus q warranto and ceturnary uh, the important thing here is against whom the mandamus cannot lie or will not lie it is one that private organization uh, unless it is interested with the public duty okay so uh, that's one of the very important things it would not lie against the president or the governor for their performance of their duty or it would also not lie against the state legislature uh, and prevent them from uh, considering the laws to be pleaded which need to, which are to be violated now the next is ayushman bharat digital mission uh, this is to increase the portability it does not aim to achieve universal health coverage neither it is a mandate for public and private hospitals to join it but the idea is to promote digitization under the ayushman bharat digital mission so three only is the right option for this question the next question is with reference to deputy speaker the deputy speaker the election of the deputy speaker is decided by the speaker of the lok sabha uh, and for the speaker it is decided by the president so one is the right option the deputy speaker has the same power as the speaker when presiding over the sittings of the housing and no appeal lie against his ruling so three is against the correct option now uh, this is very very important when the speaker is not there deputy speaker would take all the proceedings of the speaker the deputy speaker the election of the deputy speaker the date is decided by the speaker for the speaker the date is decided by the president so one and three are the right options for this question the next is uh, now next set of questions are from the section on geography the most important anthropogenic source of methane and nitrous oxide among the given crops is rice specifically the wet rice now this is one of the articles that have been covered in down to earth we have covered that intensively so just check the uh, lectures that we have covered on down to earth another important question from down to earth which is on system of rice intensification now this system of rice intensification focuses on two important things one is reducing the seed requirement that's correct statement and second is reducing the methane production now it's believed that from uh, 20 kgs per acre the seed requirement could go down to 2 kgs per acre and similarly the methane production can be reduced from 50 percent to 30 percent and that's some of the studies which have been quoted by the uh, various uh, platforms india vietnam madagascar are some of the nations who are working on it and here alternate wetting and drying of the rice fields is practiced where organic manure is one of the main things and there are intermittent square patterns which are devised as part of system of rice intensification so one and two are the right options for this question the next is which of the following lakes of west africa 
have turned out into a desert so in mali it is the foggy bin uh, desert which has recently turned out to be uh, uh, a lake which has recently turned out to be desert it has started drying back in 2007 and since then the rate of the drying has been uh, significantly high so one of the important uh, countries uh, where this has been witnessed uh, the next is the Gandhi uh, Gandhi Kota Canyon, which is also called as the uh, one of the hidden Grand Canyons of India, is located on the Pena River. Now, this is uh, in the Kadapa district of Andhra Pradesh. So, C is the right option. It is called as the hidden Grand Canyon. Now, important to note, Namcha Barwa is in Arunachal Pradesh. So, this is an incorrect match. Nanda Devi and Sunanda Devi, both of those in Kumau Mountains, important. No Creek in Meghalaya, so it's again incorrect. So Nanda Devi, two only is the correct option. The next question here is Levant. Recently, we have heard it in news, uh, and this is a region east of Turkey. So this is the region where uh, the region which is called as Levant, and it has a historically, geographically significant uh, importance that we have covered in the separate lecture. Now, uh, which of the following countries border Afghanistan? Similar questions have been asked every year. So as you can see the map here, Turkmenistan, Uzbekistan, and Tajikistan, three of the nations that border here. Tajikistan, Turkmenistan and Uzbekistan. So 3, 4 and 5 are the correct options for this question. The next is with reference to India, which of the following is correct? Monazite is definitely a rare earth metal, a rare earth mineral. Uh, Monazite sand is found in the beach sand along the coast of India. The uh, states where it is predominantly found is Odisha, Andhra Pradesh, Kerala, Tamil Nadu, West Bengal, and Jharkhand. But it is not along the entire coastal sand. Okay, so the word entire needs to be noted here. So one is correct. Two, yes, Monazite contains around. 20 to 30 percent thorium so that is correct one of the major sources of thorium and except uh, monazite all of those are allowed by the private uh, processors it's only monazite which is under the government body which can process and export the monazite and it is uh, i r sorry i e r l that is the uh, indian uh, sorry i r e l the indian rare earth limited okay so that's entitled by the department of atomic energy to process and export monazite in India. So 1, 2 and 4 are the right options for this question. The next question talks about North Hemisphere. Very direct question. The longest day in the North Hemisphere would be the longest day in the North Hemisphere would be the summer solstice. As we know, a very basic question from NCRT class 6. Now this is during the 21st of June. So we can say second half of the month of the June would be the right option for this question. The last question for this set is consider a pairs. Which of them are correctly matched? So here, Rudra Sagar is located in Tripura. That is correct. Okay. Uh, Renuka Lake, one of the largest lakes, uh, the wetlands in Himachal Pradesh. Again, correct. Horega is in Jammu Kashmir, so it's incorrect. And Sastam Kota is in Kerala, so it's again incorrect. So two and three are the right options. So only two pairs are correct from the given choices. So these were the next set of 15 questions. As you can see, the questions on geography focus more on contemporary happening. So definitely you have to understand and have a basic reading of the text. But again, uh, the Contemporary happenings are extremely important to be covered here. Stay tuned for next sits. Thank you.